Good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog. It is Thursday, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's 8.30 and whew, there's a lot going on at work, which is a good thing, but Lord have mercy. Um, I just had a quick second and I thought I would grab the camera, came out to get my water. I've already been, well, I did a live this morning. I got up, I showered last night, washed my hair. This morning I got up and curled my hair and um, did a live, got to work, and I have been slammed ever since. Um, so yeah, working through some things, a few crises, 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 whatever. I'm working through some crap. And um, yeah, I just turned on Fox News. I, have, I like to have that on in the background here. Um, I need to eat something. So, because <laughs> I'm really hungry. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so I've got my water. I'm going to grab something to eat here. And uh, probably some cereal. Let's see. This has been open for a while. Although these kind of make my stomach sick, but it's been open for a while. So these are Bob's favorite, but he's not currently been eating them. Old grams. <clears throat> so I'm going to have some cereal. And then I'm going to take it in there and get right back at it. Because, like I said, it's been busy. Nothing I can't handle, though. All right. So I will check in with you guys later on my lunch. I'm going to re-record the hymn that I worked on yesterday now that we have it in the right key and everything and get that over for Sunday service. And that's the extent of what I know today, except that Bob's making dinner because we're having golden, golden mushroom pork chops. Perhaps I'll let him vlog a little bit while he's doing it, not let him. Perhaps I will encourage him to vlog a little while he's doing it. All right. Um, it is 5.30. And I went for a little walk. I picked a Pidey on the way. We stayed a safe distance apart. Um, and I don't know if I, if I, I don't remember when, what, <laughs> I don't know what time I checked in last. I don't know that I picked up the camera after this morning, but um, I had to run to church to my envelope. And um, I stopped by Heidi's and dropped off a pair of leggings and a shirt that I got in this B-style box <clears throat> that are one size fits all. That's not a real thing, um, in case you're curious. I didn't even try, because I know, and I knew that Heidi would wear both the shirt and the leggings, so I brought those over to her. Um, and poor Bella, I mean, it just, she she is, uh, her love language is touch, and then some, and it just broke her little heart, and broke my heart, to not hug each other. So, anyway, so I did that, so I was out of the house for about mm, 15 minutes, maybe. Came back, dug back into work just been really really busy it's just good it's a good distraction um but anyway so then I, f I finished and went for a walk like I said picked a piney on the way which was nice for her to have some adult conversation <clears throat> and for um me to have some company while I was walking we came back our neighbors were out so we stood like at our property lines and talked to each other and Bob is in charge of dinner tonight right and he, yo, and he has Golden mushroom pork chops, which is just pork chops with golden mushroom soup dumped over the top of them. And um, baked potato. Baked potato. And I was going to show you guys this. This I talked about this on my live. Um, look at the ready here. Fantastic. It's almost gone. <clears throat> um, Kapari had a sale on their site. So I ordered two of the Starry Eye Balm that I love so much. So, I'm going to put those away. I'm going to hop in the shower. I'm going to take my laptop and listen to a video while I'm there. And, yeah, that's going to be that for today. i got to tell you, the fresh air does really help. When I got my sheets in from Amazon that I ordered, I'll show you those tomorrow. i got to get them washed and whatnot. And maybe this weekend I'll switch this out for the spring one. I'll add a nice little... You know, I said I was going to do it last week, and then I didn't, and then I was like, bah humbug, I'm not doing it till the 1st. It's the 26th. It's close enough. So, yeah. Take off my jewelry and stuff here. And I, I, Oh, here's a funny story. <laughs> I was vlogging, <clears throat> or I was editing the vlog, I mean, and I was like, dude, why does it look like I have a bald patch right on the side of my head? Yeah, that's my gray hair just for the record, where it looks bald right there, that's my gray hair. It's fine, it's gonna be fine. 
it's not a big deal. <laughs> good morning, everybody. I just have to do a quick good morning. Um, I have a Zoom call here in five minutes. I have been on one conference call already. It is just about eight o'clock, so I've got a lot of things accomplished. So far, it has been such a much better day than yesterday. Such a much better day, um, <laughs> which is good. And the sun is currently shining. I'm not sure if that's supposed to last all day, but um, if it's at least happening still at 11 o'clock, then I'm darned and determined to take a lunch today. So, um, all right, just thought I would do a quick little check-in. Happy Friday morning to you, and I'll see you in a little all bit. All right, y'all. Well, I'm taking a lunch, but um, I'm going to the store. <clears throat> so I have switched out of my other sweatshirt. There's a reason I'm telling you this. And put on a hoodie with a pocket. So all I'm bringing into the store these days is um, my key fob and I have my debit card in there and then um, I'm taking my phones in my car with me but I don't take my phones into the store with me phones work personal um, and then my list I will also um, carry the just the I'm gonna rip it out and um, stick that in my pocket as well so how am I gonna write on that hmm. I started the whole, I had it on my phone before, the list on my phone, I don't know. I've changed it, but anyway, for sure this is what I've done so far, or what I've changed, I should say, recently, is that I don't carry my purse in anymore. I just put this in my pocket, phones in my car, they don't even come in with me, list, pen. That's it. That's all, that's all I do. So um, I'm going to go, and hopefully I am in and out quickly. <laughs> we shall see how the stores are today. Also hand sanitizer. That also goes in the pocket because I hand I sanitize my hands before I touch anything in my car again. So, in case you're curious, also hand sanitizer. Good Saturday morning to you guys. I'm not sure what time it is now. I got up like an hour ago. It's 10 after 6. I did try to sleep in, but I also went to bed early. So I have sad news to report. The sheets that I this is why I don't order sheets online. They're just too purpley to the, sh the sheets that I have had that I had from the past are more of a plum actually here I'll... I had already put them in the goodwill bag that I have going in here and I'll show you Ugh, I'm just frustrated with myself I should have known better so this is what I'm going for this is what came so um, this doesn't it doesn't clash with the duvet cover but it doesn't exactly go and then the velvet I have like these velvety covers for the euro sham you know the the euro the euro shams um, they wouldn't go with this at all either so back to P or back on the UPS truck it goes um, side note I've had this for a couple of days I had it I'm sitting outside for a couple of days before I brought it back in. Um, it, my point being, it's all sanitized. It's fine. Please don't freak out on me. This is my soft scrub that I couldn't find in the store, that I found online. It was, however, $10, and in the store it's normally like 5 which is almost ridiculous. But so, where am I going to put you guys? This is the wrong cupboard. There's no place to put you in that cupboard. There you go. Um, so yeah, and then, so when I, when I ordered it, I couldn't find any in the store. And then, of course, when I went yesterday to get stuff for me and my parents, there was some in the store and I looked at the price and I was like, oh good, so glad I paid three times the price for that. Whatever. <laughs> because I did pull out after we had our, just had our, um, by the way, thank you guys. I'm going to sit down here after I'm done with this and after I get my letter started and continue answering comments from the last vlog where I asked you guys to check in with me. So thank you for the cleaning advice. <clears throat> thank you for the videos you sent. Um, and um, thank you for checking in with me, letting me know where you are and that you're okay and that sort of thing. I really appreciate it. But as you can hear, this is all I have left of a cleaner that's not Mrs. Myers. Um, and this is fantastic, heavy-duty, all-purpose cleaner. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs. So that is that one's okay. I ordered some spray bottles on Amazon, 
and because somebody had said was suggesting mixing up bleach and water so I didn't have any spray bottles and I kind of need some anyway so I just ordered um, three little ones that were very inexpensive so those will come but I mean you do have somebody else at the so you do have to kind of really be really careful where you're using bleach so you're not like ruining your clothes and things but anyway I got this for ten dollars <laughs> ay yeah ay, yeah ay, ay. Uh, oh, I was going to say Wilson, because I looked yesterday and there was no Fantastic, no Lysol, of course, no nothing. There were a lot of people who said, well, you just Lysol, da, 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 da. And I was like, where do you people get this Lysol? Because I can't find it anywhere. So, yeah. All right. So this Amazon, because, I don't know if it's because the sheets were so expensive. I mean, so expensive. They were $90, which is kind of pricey for sheets. Um, but they'll do pickup without me having to pay extra for it so and I the other option is to take it to a drop-off place but so I guess all I have to do is put this in here and stick it outside and they'll pick it up on the next business day so it's my morning so far last night we did not do much as expected um, we had Here's a funny for you. We had, I gave Bob, well, okay, let me tell you the whole story. I love my husband. I enjoy cooking for him. But when he's in a mood, man, and I'm just, you know, it's my job to handle food. It's just always been my job. You know, we just, you know, you split the work and it's my thing. Every once in a while he'll make dinner like he did with the gold mushroom pork chops. But for the most part, it's what I do. And I enjoy it. Um, I, but, you know, I, I appreciate a little input. So we hadn't made any plans for dinner tonight because I kind of thought we were going to get takeout from Corner Bar, which I think we're going to end up doing tonight instead. But anyway, but I knew I had options in the freezer. We have a frozen, we have several frozen pizzas yet from fundraiser that we bought. Um, we have what I call Italian stuff, which is just frozen tortellini that takes me all of, you know, boiling water and then another seven, five minutes maybe tops to make. <clears throat> and then I had a, I like a cheap old banquet, um, pot pie. Like just give me the cheap pot pie and I'm happy as a clam. And, um, uh, a friend of mine, she is, she and her family are big fans of the Marie Callender. Is that how you say her last, the last name? pot pies. So, I mean, she, she was talking them up really in the last couple of days. And I, when I went there, the, when I went to the store yesterday, banquets were 10 for, uh, or 10 for 10. You I mean, you can't, that's a good deal. The banquets were 250. So I bought it, or excuse me, and the Marian calendars were 250. I bought a couple banquets for myself because sometimes I'll have them for lunch, stuck them in the freezer. But I bought two Marie calendars for, actually I bought three for um, Bob and I to have it as a meal because I knew the banquets don't fill him up. They're little. This Marie Callender looked like it was more substantial. And I, didn't, I wasn't for sure what kind he'd like. I bought him a beef and then I bought myself a turkey and then I bought an additional turkey just in case. And he can have that at some point when the world is back to normal and I'm tra traveling. <laughs> he can have that for a dinner one night. All right. So, um... <laughs> I asked him, I don't even know, well, I had asked him about Corn Bar, and he got real bucky about it. And I was like, dude, I'm just asking you, you can, I need you to calm down. And then I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> and he sat down in his chair and went to sleep. He also hurt, he hurt his arm um, of his own doing. So it's not like I don't feel badly for him that his arm hurts, but like I'm not dealing with the whining when you did it to yourself. <clears throat> and I had to pry the information out of him as to how he did it. Um, and then I was like, dude, help, maybe take some Advil. Ah, it won't help. I'm like, yes, it will. It's an anti... Seriously. It's, a, it's like talking to... Anyway, so this is real life, y'all. I don't, I don't pretend that we're perfect or anything. I, hope you, I certainly hope you guys don't think that our marriage is perfect. You know, it's a, it's a work in progress always. So... All right, sorry, this is a really long story. That shouldn't be this long. So I got up and was going to go take a shower, wash my hair. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to go take a shower. Of the three options I gave you, um, if you choose the pot pies, those are going to take like an hour to cook. So 
Just so you know, if that's what you choose, we're not eating for an hour from when I get out of the shower. <clears throat> and into the, into the bathroom I went. And he must have realized he was being a little bit of, being a little bit bucky. Um, so when I came out of the shower a little while later, um, he had already pulled out the Marie Calendar pies. And apparently on the instructions of those, I've not ever made one, so I didn't know. It says to put um, foil around the edges like you would a pie, so that, you know, like a regular pie, so that it wouldn't, you know, burn the edges or whatever while it's in there cooking. He even did that and he had them in the oven. I was like, all right. I walked out in the garage. He was having a stogie. I walked out in the garage. I was like, well, look at you putting dinner in. Thank you very much. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all he said. <laughs> oh, I tell you. <clears throat> so here's my verdict on the. In case you're curious, in case you are just waiting with bated breath to know whether I like Marie Calendar better or Banquet, still picking Banquet. <laughs> A, it's cheaper. Um, B, the Marie Calendars was too much for me. It was way too big. It's got a zillion calories in it too, I might add. Um, this is full on comfort foods that I have noticed. I'm letting him pick for the most part what he wants. And... You know, he doesn't really talk about, ever talk about being scared about things or worried or whatever. That's just not how he is. But I can tell by what he's choosing to eat that where his, where his mind's at. Anyway, um, I, the crust was about the same. I would say I like the crust as well, as well as I like the banquets. But the inside, the banquet tastes way better, I think, than the Marie Calendars, which is funny. <laughs> oh, boy. So this friend of mine, and I, you know, she and I are good, good, good friends. We've been friends since college. And um, for those of you that watch the vlogs, it's my friend Ange. She's on, or they watch the Instagram lives. She's on there sometimes. So it's funny. Every time she recommends something, I'm like, eh, I don't like it quite <laughs> so well. I'm not sure if, if, that, if that means I'm pickier than I think I am. I don't know. I don't think I'm super picky if I'll eat a banquet pot pie. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to take these. And I'm going to make myself some coffee. I'm going to tape that up. I'm going to sit down and answer some comments. And I don't know. That's as far as I've gotten. I do, those bananas are just about perfect. Let me just, can you tell? For banana bread. So that may happen today. But I have to find a recipe. I only have three bananas. And most recipes call for like eight bananas or two cups or something. And are a couple of loaves. So I need to look at a recipe. I'm going to see how, many, how much I have here actually. And I'm going to find a recipe that can, I can adjust a little bit. I think I can make up the rest if I don't have two cups. I think I can make up the rest with some applesauce. Not really sure. I'm going to ask Paul and see what he says. But, all right. And I need to find a recipe that is um, not dry. I know some of you don't like that word. Because the last couple times I made banana bread, I haven't found a banana bread recipe that I have, you know, stuck on that I like. And every one that I try that seems to get dry. And I do not like dry food. So, all right, I'm going to go. I'll check with you guys later. Okay, it's not much later than when I last talked to you. <laughs> it's 20 to 7 right now. Um, I finished doing all the things I was doing. Um, and then I want to show you guys a couple of things. So, um, my, I was telling Heidi. Heidi and I went for a walk. If you, if you can call it that. We walked, like, far apart from each other. <laughs> it was just crazy. We're trying to talk to each other. And, uh, well, <laughs> Anyway, we did the best we could here at each other. So I was telling her how I was trying to buy puzzles online and I couldn't find any. And, I, and I, so I checked with my parents and they got rid of all theirs. My parents used to have tons of jigsaw puzzles and they have nothing anymore. They gave them all away. So um, Heidi said they, she looked, she texted me and she's like, hey, we found a couple of puzzles. Do you, want, do you want to borrow them? And I was like, yes, please. So when she brought them up yesterday, she came up with Aaliyah, we call her AJ, and she brought me this note. Isn't she so sweet? So I have two puzzles to work on this weekend. Well, let's be real. It's going to take me long enough to do just one, much less two. So I'm really excited about that. It was very sweet of her and of them. You know, these are the times when you have to, and she, they put them in a bag without touching them. And brought, sorry, I dropped the camera. But I caught it, so I'm not in trouble. Uh, anyway, so they 
put them in a bag without touching them. They hadn't touched them in six months. They put them in a bag without touching them, brought them in a bag, and I pulled them out of said bag. So we're all very safe. And the other thing I wanted to show you is um, Karen and Lauren from the Two Orchids. I will link them below if you don't know them. They sent, I've already had it off the, it was not a cute little pillow in here, but they said they were going to give this to us um, when we were on our trip in Atlanta that we didn't go on. And um, it's just this cute little bracelet with these coins dangling off, make a lot of noise. <laughs> I like I like bracelets that make a little noise. Um, so I wanted to say thank you to them. That was very sweet. They sent a nice card too. So yeah, that was really sweet. I think we all are pretty bummed that we uh, weren't able to go on our trip. We certainly understand it. Um, I was rereading the card. I don't know why, because it made me smile the first time, so I reread it. All right, so I also today, I have noodles here. Um, I'm going to make some soup. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I think I'll do that tomorrow, and then we can have it tomorrow night, because tonight we're going to go take go get takeout from Corner Bar. So, time for coffee and comment answering. It is, like I said, it's 6.43. Um, I'll be sitting down in a few minutes. We'll see how long it takes to answer. The, I, I normally, you guys know I normally just, oh, what am I, doing? I normally just, um, answer questions <clears throat> and then, you know, I make sure that I hit the little love button so you guys know that I read your comments because I read every comment. I just can't always keep up with answering them all. But right now I clearly have some time and I really wanted to answer the comments. I'll just use this mug because it's here. Um, I really wanted to answer, these are the mugs that I bought with our set of dishes, and I never use them, I always use some else. Um, but I asked you guys to tell me you were okay, and so I want to, you know, honor the fact that you guys took time to let me know you were okay, and answer those messages. So, I'm going to make me some turtles in a cup coffee, Star County coffee, it's delightful. And I'm going to sit down and answer. I started yesterday and then um, got busy with work and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to sit down and do that, and then I will check in with you later. All right, guys, I have to tell you, I don't, now I can't even remember what time I sat down. But it's 8.30, and I have had my cup of coffee, and I've not answered a single comment. <laughs> Whew, I'm just struggling today, you guys. So I've turned off Fox News. I've turned on the Food Network. Currently, Rachel Ray's about to give me a 30-minute meal. And I'm going to try to answer comments now. Um, and I'm starving. And instead of getting up to eat something, I ate some jelly beans because they're here. <laughs> Not Bob's. Don't worry. I have some Starburst jelly beans. Okay. I can do this, y'all. I want to answer these comments. It's not that I not that I don't. It's that, I don't know, I just kind of get paralyzed sometimes by what's going on. i got to push through this. Faith, faith, faith. All right, it's 11 o'clock, and I'm still in my pajamas. Um, I uh, think I'm going to get up and get dressed, wash my face, uh, maybe do a live. I haven't quite decided yet um, as far as what my next steps is, but I did get all of my comments answered. Um, you guys just never cease to amaze me, and I'm so mean this truly I am so blessed by each and every one of you when you leave comments and I just I put in a lot of the comments we will get through this together because we will you and I we're gonna get this through to get get through this together get our families through it um, one of a longtime subscriber she left a message about how she's just you know it's like a lot of us feeling down and sad and I said you know I here's here's what I have decided and I kind of left this in a comment is that I have to let myself have those moments, but not live there. I have to pick myself up and, you know what I mean, and just kind of try to push forward a little bit, try to do something that'll change my mind or, you know, text a friend, check in on somebody else who might be having a hard time and that will help you. You know, am I making any sense? Hopefully. Um, so yeah, I checked in um, with Emily this morning and with Lisa and my friend Sherry at work and Heidi and... So I just did some checking in with people and in between answering my comments. So yeah, so I'm caught up now. I did have some waffles for breakfast at some points 
and I cup, cup, a little, couple cups of coffee. I don't know the last time I have done this where I have just stayed in my pajamas and done not a lot aside from sitting on my butt um, for this long. So that kind of felt good, but now I need to get up and do something. I don't know. Bob wasn't sure if he was going to be home by noon or one or two or what his day was going to look like. So not like it matters when he gets home because we're just going to be home. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go um, put some clothes on and maybe do a live. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the next few minutes bring in my brain. All right, I'm up. <laughs> it's 1130. I am up. <sighs> And I'm gonna do a live. The only, I would have gotten up before when I when I vlogged, but then Kristen Chenoweth was on um, Trisha Yearwood's cooking show. I was watching the Food Network, and they were gonna sing at the end, and so I was waiting till the end <laughs> because I'm a fan of Kristen Chenoweth. So, um, yeah, I still don't know what uh, what's going on with Bob. I haven't heard from him, but that doesn't surprise me. Um, Jamie is going to be dropping off. He won't be coming in, obviously. I'm not sure why I'm telling you things you already know, but they were going to the store and she said, do you need anything? I said, not really. So the only thing I didn't realize I needed was taco sauce. I said, it's not a crisis. I said, if Jamie thinks of it, great. If not, no big deal. So, sorry. I had to, so I'm saying sorry to you as if you guys don't know. I just edited out a long pause. I was answering Heidi. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, taco sauce. So <laughs> she messaged me and said, they like, they like, it's always this big joke between us. They like Miracle Whip. I like mayonnaise. I'm just not a fan of Miracle Whip. I used to like it when I was little. I don't anymore. So she said, um, these over here. She said, um, that he accidentally bought some mayonnaise. Not the kind I normally use, but mayonnaise. It'll be fine. And she's like, would you like it? <laughs> I'm like, sure, I will find a use for it. So now I'm kind of not sure. I don't, I don't, it's funny. I don't want to say, so what is he coming over? Because it doesn't matter to me, but I also don't want, um, I don't want to start alive if he's going to come over. And so I don't really know. We're going to see this. First, I'm going to start by putting some clothes on and washing my face. Step one, make yourself look presentable for the day at 11.30. Who am I? What is going on here? Mm -hmm.